Now just sprinkle some of the chopped chives over the top and we are ready to dig in. Hi, I'm Shuey and in this video I'm going to show you how to grill oysters in a Weber. Now, these are the original Viagra. Now I am going to be making up my whiskey butter recipe for this cook. So sit back, grab a drink or two and let's get into it. Obviously I'm going to need some oysters. And luckily here in Australia we are spoiled for choice when it comes to fresh produce. I had these Pacific oysters delivered directly to my door from Signature Oysters. After looking at their website, I can see they work with a few farms to get the best of the best. So in the box, I received an oyster knife. You call that a knife? And a card on where your oysters have come from. And mine are from Jace Finley. And it's just a little bit of a backstory on him and his story and about his oysters. And obviously, three dozen live oysters. Now I'll throw a link to their website in the description. Now I'm not getting paid for this, I'm just promoting good Aussie product as I always do. So I'm gonna show you how to make compound butter. Now you can use this process to make any manner of combinations of flavor that you like. But for this recipe for my whiskey butter, you're gonna need 250 grams of unsalted butter that's at room temperature. Obviously some whiskey, a bit of brown sugar, some cayenne pepper for a little bit of heat, and some garlic. So mix it up, spread it out, roll it out, and then just put this in the fridge for an hour to harden up. Now, we need to crack these bad boys open or shuck them, as they like to say. So just place an oyster on a tea towel. This is going to stop it from slipping too much and it's gonna allow you to get a good grip on it. Then you'll need your shucking knife and you're just gonna have to work the tip into this, the narrow part of the oyster where the lid and the bottom meet. And just work it in, just keep wiggling it. Once it's in, you can turn the knife down the left side of the shell. And then we're gonna run the knife down the right side. And this is going to separate the abductor muscle from the lid of the shell. Like that. How simple was that? Nearly as simple as liking this video. Now using the shucking knife, use it to separate the abductor muscle from the bottom shell. Now just be careful not to lose too much liquid out of them while you're shucking them. Now oysters won't stand up by themselves when you put them on the grill. You can buy standalone oyster trays, but they're just not gonna cut it with the way I'm cooking them today. So grab some foil, fold it up, loosely scrunch it and wrap it around your four fingers. And that's perfect for an oyster to sit in. And by doing this, we won't lose any of the liquid that's in that shell. I need high indirect heat today. So I'm gonna be using a 57 centimetre Weber kettle and I'm gonna be pairing it up with one of my kettle cones. And that will ensure I get temps of 240 degrees Celsius and above today. Now I'll start by three quarter filling a chimney starter with briquettes, lighting it up, once all the briquettes are fully ashed over, I'll then dump them into the kettle cone. Then I'll put the grill in place. I'll put the lid on, making sure all the vents are wide open. And I'm gonna give that 10 minutes to warm up. And the good thing about using a kettle cone is it uses less fuel than if you're gonna just use the two baskets in the center. So, in the end, it does end up saving you money. It's time to add some flavor to these oysters. Now grab the compound butter, or as I have dubbed this one, the whiskey butter, and just slice it off in five mil thicknesses. And just put one slice on each oyster. It's now time to get the oysters onto the barbecue. So just place an oyster on each foil ring. Put the lid on and give them five minutes. We are cooking today with a high indirect heat of 240 degrees Celsius and above. This cook's only gonna take five minutes on the grill. So for those of you using my beer timer, get drinking. You've got five minutes to finish your drink. Cheers. Five minutes is gonna go past so far, so best you make the most of it. Start by chopping up some chives to garnish the oysters with once they're finished cooking. Surely by now you've subscribed to the channel and hit that bell button. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Pop these into a bowl and we're nearly ready to eat. Dinner 
Yes, sir. Now this smells amazing and sitting in little golden pools of whiskey is just making me hungry. So let's just get these off the heat. Now just sprinkle some of the chopped chives over the top and we are ready to dig in. So whether you want to use an oyster fork and be civilized or you just want to throw them down the hatch, either way, you're going to love these. Well, how easy was that? Whiskey, butter and oysters will hopefully be on the menu at your place very soon. Cheers for watching. Mmm.